Hello, uh, dear friends, brothers and uh, sisters. And, uh, you know, the devotees and followers of uh, God or Brahman. I welcome uh, all of you uh, to another uh, short uh, video in our series about uh, absolute uh, happiness. Uh, and you know, in these uh, current uh, uh, times. So I have actually given the uh, title to this uh, video as uh, Calm in the Storm. So this, this is quite uh, interesting, you see. Uh, what we find in the current phase of uh, humanity is actually that every now and then there seems to be a storm uh, which seems to uh, come up, which impacts on our day-to-day uh, uh, -day life. You see, we have to uh, look at it from a more broader perspective. So uh, let us understand, uh, you know, a little bit about human evolution as well, you know. Uh, I can put in that uh, about four million years ago, uh, previously we had what we call the Atlantean period. And most of us were actually present at that time. And we are even present uh, actually now. So, you know, the Atlantean period, when actually it was destroyed, uh, what happened was that there was this great uh, flood which uh, came and in 48 hours this entire continent called the Atlantean continent had actually sunk and that ended that uh, phase of uh, human evolution and then gradually the next phase has actually started. So in uh, Hinduism, you know, uh, in the Hindu culture, uh, we call this as yugas or periods or phases of uh, uh, humanity, right? And similarly, when you come to the English uh, terminology, uh, we call them as cycles, you know. So we go from one phase of, uh, uh, you know, human evolution into another phase of uh, human evolution. Because look at it, everything is a stop and a start in uh, time and space, right? You know, we, we wake up uh, every day in the morning, then we spend our day and then the night comes. There is this darkness, right? There is a stop and a start. There is an ebb and a flow. But now let us look at the uh, present times. You see uh, what what is happening. If you look back uh, uh, into uh, the period which is the last uh, 20 years, uh, starting from around uh, 2000, uh, there have been a lot of um, uh, such uh, occurrences created by nature which seem to disturb uh, the normal flow of uh, the human life. On earth some of the examples are you know the big tsunami that which had come uh, you know in the early uh, 2000 right and then uh, there was this uh, mud flow you know the big mud flow was there recently in the state of Kerala in uh, India you know from which we are still actually uh, recovering there have been a few uh, earthquakes Right. And some of these earthquakes have been where just the Mother Earth has separated and everything has just gone in and then the Mother Earth has actually closed. Uh, now, uh, if you look at just reflecting on the uh, uh, recent times, uh, there have been the, uh, you know, the big uh, bushfires uh, in uh, America, uh, you know, in California. And then we had these uh, bushfires here in uh, Australia. Uh, where, uh, you know, I, I reside in uh, Sydney. That's from where actually I'm uh, communicating. And now currently we have got this uh, uh, COVID-19, uh, you know, this epidemic, which has virtually, uh, you know, locked down uh, the life almost in every country. 
and uh, you know people in India are sitting in their houses uh, you know people in Australia are uh, sitting in their houses in England in Germany uh, you see uh, everywhere uh, it is almost the same state in in America so you see you really have got to look at it and it's quite interesting to note that nature has actually created all these and in particular uh, this present uh, epidemic you see this is actually created by what we call as the devas you know the devas is a hindu term but when we talk uh, in english it is the white beings of light it is these adepts uh, you know it is those higher beings you see uh, in the spiritual world who are actually behind all this but you've got to understand why because you see uh, we are now moving into the next phase of human evolution and whenever this phase occurs there is a change we go from the old and we go into the new and we are going to enter a period of uh, what we call as great peace on earth right which is still uh, a little bit uh, uh, far away we won't go into the details of the dates and all those but what has happened is that you see because a lot of people are sitting at home and we are actually idle and we have been thrown away from our uh, you know normal day to day routine it has created a lot of stress right so uh, i just want to uh, throw a little bit of light actually on that which is the very purpose of uh, you know uh, making this uh, particular video so one is absolute happiness which is your higher nature which is not dependent at all on what is happening actually around you but then the other is the happiness related to the personality the happiness uh, which is temporary in its nature uh, you know uh, uh, in space and time and a happiness uh, which is temporary which is actually coming and going so until we work on that you see how is everyone going to uh, uh, ultimately attain to what we call as absolute happiness which was attained uh, you know by the great uh, sages like vivekananda ramakrishna and in our times as i have said uh, uh, master uh, biansa duno you know from bulgaria ramna maharishi you see from uh, india you know neem karoli baba uh, from india just to name a few so this is a period which has been given by nature to human beings to reflect on what are we doing actually where are we heading right and you know there is this 90% rule the 90% rule is that look 90% of the things are actually good uh you you look around yourself there is this uh, uh, you know beautiful daylight which actually comes right and then uh, you see you get this oxygen from the trees right and uh, you know there is this beautiful sunrise every day everywhere so nature has actually provided so many good things to us and also when you look at your uh, daily routine even now look 90% of the things are actually good right but this is this law of nature that this 10% you see 10% is the one which actually troubles you right this is the negative energy in the human being and this is the one which is troubling you most as you sit at home and you stress on what to do and then uh, you see you are not in harmony you are not in love you are not in peace uh, with whoever may be actually around you so you know the key to this is look at it very carefully you see the problem lies totally in our negative thoughts and our negative feelings whereas look at it you know nature has given actually a beautiful and a wonderful time that you are able to sit at home and you've got a lot of time to reflect and spend upon yourself so uh, you know coming to the uh, end of this uh, video what i'm suggesting is that look just have positive thoughts and have positive feelings right don't allow these uh, negative energies what we call as the negative sikandhas or the lower nature spirits which you know are always uh, coming into you in the form of first thoughts and then feelings and that is how then you become reactive 
So how are you going to, uh, you know, uh, be calm? How are you going to be peaceful? You see, like we had said that the heading of this title was calm in the storm, right? So, you know, get into the habit of reflecting on where is actually humanity heading, right? Spend some time on what the great sages, like Sage Ramana, you know, who said, uh, 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 learn about who am I? Learn to practice this, who am I? Who are you actually really? Are you simply this personality which is born and will live out its life and die and then be born again? Or are you actually, you know, that reality itself? Are you actually that absolute consciousness itself, which is actually not affected by anything, right? Uh, look at the teachings from Master Bayan Saduno, you know, who is uh, uh, my Rishi and my Satguru is Sage Ramana. You see, the Rishi, Master Bayan Saduno said, I just follow one simple rule. What is this rule? That any thought or any feeling that comes to him that is going to disturb, you know, you in any way, it will cause first of all disturbance to you and then it will cause disturbance uh, to your environment and your atmosphere. Just don't entertain it. Look, it's a very, very simple teaching, right? Uh, you only entertain positive thoughts and positive feelings and act positively. So spend some time, you see, to reflect on whatever religion you may be following, you know, Muslim, what did Muhammad say, you know, Christian, what did Jesus Christ say? Right? Uh, Hinduism, what did uh, Sage Ramana say? You know, what has Master Bayan Saduno said? Spend some time reflecting on what these great masters have taught humanity. Look at Gautam Buddha. You see, he taught compassion. So this is the time, first of all, to be compassionate with yourself and to be compassionate with all your fellow beings. Uh, so I'll go on to another uh, video along these uh, lines, the uh, next one. Uh, so I hope uh, that we have exchanged uh, some love, some peace, some calmness and some information. Thank you.